Radio South Lanarkshire Council against the Scottish Information Commissioner. In May 2012, Mr Mark Irvin made several requests to the Council under the Freedom of Information Scotland Act 2002, FOISA. He wanted to know how many employees the Council had in a particular post, which was manual work traditionally done by men, who were paid at particular points in the Council's pay scales. He did not want to know their names. Mr. Irvin takes a close interest in equal pay matters, having been involved in negotiating the Single Status Equal Pay Collective Agreement 1999, which applies to council workers in Scotland, and working with Action for Equality Scotland and writing a blog dealing with this, among other issues. He was concerned that the council's pay gradings might still be favoring work traditionally done by men over that traditionally done by women. The council refused his request and so he applied to the Scottish Information Commissioner. FOISA gives a person the right to have the information requested unless it is exempt. But personal data covered by the Data Protection Act 1998 are exempt and can only be disclosed if one of the conditions in the 1998 Act is met. The Information Commissioner considered it arguable that the data requested were not personal data at all but he went on to consider whether disclosure would be in breach of the 1998 Act. Here, the relevant condition is number six. Quote, the processing is necessary for the purposes of legitimate interests pursued by the data controller or by the third party or parties to whom the data are disclosed, except where the processing is unwarranted in any particular case by reason of prejudice to the rights and freedoms or legitimate interests of the data subjects. End quote. The Commissioner considered that Mr Irvin was pursuing a legitimate interest, and that finding is not challenged in this court. He also considered that the processing was necessary to achieve those aims. In doing so, he asked himself, quote, is the disclosure proportionate as a means and fairly balanced as to ends, or could those legitimate aims be achieved by means which interfere less with the privacy of the data subject? End quote. He did not consider this to be an intrusion of any significance on the privacy of the individuals involved, who could not be identified from the disclosure. So the disclosure was not unwarranted because of prejudice to their rights and freedoms or legitimate interests. The Council appealed unsuccessfully to the Court of Session and again to this Court. They made two complaints. First, and most important, was that necessary should be given its natural and ordinary meaning. Mr. Irvin did not need to have this information. The Commissioner should not have applied a proportionality test. However, the Court of Justice of the European Union has held that if disclosure would interfere with a person's right to privacy under Article 8 of the European Convention on Human Rights, then the interference can only be justified if it is a proportionate means of achieving a legitimate aim. Also, the word necessary itself incorporates the concept that if the objective can be achieved by less intrusive means, then the less intrusive means are to be chosen. But it is well established in European Union law that necessary means reasonably rather than absolutely or strictly necessary. So the Commissioner had adopted a test which was probably more favourable to the Council than required and certainly no less favourable. He was entitled to reach the decision that he did. The Council also complained that the Commissioner had adopted an unfair procedure in making further inquiries of Mr Irvin without copying them or his replies to the Council and giving them an opportunity to comment. The Court stresses that the Commissioner has a particular duty to be fair as he is adjudicating upon a dispute and in Scotland there is no right of appeal on the facts as there is in England. But the Commissioner is entitled to formulate the legal case for the applicant, and in this case, his inquiries were directed to whether Condition 6 was made out and revealed nothing which was not already well known to the Council. So the Commissioner had not been unfair. This Court, therefore, unanimously dismisses the Council's appeal. Mr Irvin is entitled to the information he seeks. The Court is now adjourned. <laughs>